Massive congratulations, emotional for you at the end there. But Eddie's just said that's one of the best fights he's seen live, an absolute barn burner to be involved in, wasn't it? Yeah, great, it was a great fight. And for me, it was like dicing on the cake that I turned my life around this last year. And then to win a fight and not just win a fight, like you say, everyone now have seen social media and everything. It was a great fight, everyone saying it could be fight of the year, get A to board and stuff like that. So it's a, it's a great experience to sort of have that win and now I'm back on top everyone's talking about it again so I'm getting the justice I deserve we knew it would be brutal perhaps not as brutal as it actually turned out to be but an absolute cracker and for you both showed tremendous heart in there tonight yeah um, I think I see a lot of things on social media before the fight and I think everyone thought I was just gonna run the whole fight and box but I knew look I learned from when I boxed Fitzgerald you can't run for 12 rounds, it's game plans, you've got to mix it up and I've, like I said, I've picked up a lot of experience in these fights and I've been working in the gym a lot of stuff, I'm maturing, I'm turning into a man and I showed tonight, I boxed, I fought, I, I bit down on the gum shield, I was fit for 12 rounds, I worked, it was a very high fast pace and um, Sam's a tough fighter, a lot of people were backing against me, do you know what I mean, to get beat. I think I proved a lot of people wrong because I think a lot of people thought I was going to box for a few rounds and then when it got tough I wouldn't be able to stick in there but a lot of the times I felt I was started bullying Sam and he had to start trying to box and it's a great win for me and it's sort of tonight is a defining night for my career to now push on and refresh myself and put the ice on the cake and you've got that belt you've got that ranking title now you're in a great position moving forward yeah 100% and this is exactly what I needed it's, Obviously, I, I, I believed in myself, but your morale's a bit down when you, you ain't had a win for a little while. But now, nah, I think, even though I boxed really well tonight, I think next time I box, I'll be even twice the fighter again because I'll just have that chip back on my shoulder as a winner and champion again. And it's going to give me the, the drive to stay dedicated, to stay training hard, to make sure the camps are perfect like this camp was. And I'm just looking forward to pushing on now. You had him hurt in the second round. Can you talk to us a little bit about that from your perspective? But then he, he showed his toughness to come back in the fight as well. Yeah, um, I knew, like, listen, I was saying I was going to get a stoppage. But it's one of them ones is, if the crowd was there, when I hurt him in the second round, I would have jumped on him a lot bigger. Like I said before, you would have been emotionally swayed. But I'd watched him this week and I'd noticed Sam Egerton don't get knocked down. If you watch, he ain't been in a fight. I don't know if there is a fight he's been knocked down. He's been hurt and people jump on him and the ref jumps in. But you've got to do that when the time's right. And I knew in the second round, the time went right, I hurt him. But if I jumped on him too much, I'd have blew myself up. I'd done what I had to do when I knew he weren't going. I had to stood off and I won the round. Let's move on to the next round. Let's talk about moving on to the future now. The division's absolutely booming at the moment. We were just chatting to Eddie about it there. Anthony Fowler, of course, in action on next Friday against Adam Harper. Should he come through that? Is that a potential avenue for the next fight? Yeah, of course. Cool. So obviously, there's a load of options. But obviously, I think now, I believe I beat Scott Fitzgerald. Yeah, I've just beat um, Sam Egerton, who's everyone was saying the most experienced fighter, one of the top domestic fighters. I believe I'm back top of the queue now. Do you know what I mean? Then? Um, I've got the most, um, something that's the most valuable, I, I I'm took for Sam's ranking number five in the world. None of them boys have got nothing like that. S Scott's got a British title of mine, what um, I already had. So for me, I've just got to wait and see what Charlie and Tony want to do, but I feel like I'm in the best position out of all the domestic boys. You spoke openly about how tough last year was for you, but to get that win, how sweet does it feel and how much pressure do you feel has been lifted off your shoulders tonight? So much because, listen, I was getting into the ring um, and even last fight I, I got into the ring and I thought if I lose, I'm done. But I believe I won, do you know what I mean, the last fight. That's why I thought to myself, I'm not letting them beat me like that way. I'm not letting it, I'm not getting beat like that and, and giving up, do you know what I mean? And, I stayed determined, pushed on, and I got the win. And now nah, it proves that if you stay hungry, stay determined, dedicated, and push, you will get what you want. Do you know what I mean? As I said, I don't want to keep repeating it and going over it. I've come through my struggles. And now nah, the story goes on. Now, nah, as I said in the week, it ain't how the story starts, it ain't the middle, it's how it ends. And now nah, I've, I've continued that story because otherwise, if I lost tonight, it would have been over. 
and the past is the past. You've got that winning mojo back and can look solely ahead to the future now. Yeah, hundred um, percent. I've got I've got the title now, and I think there's going to be a lot of big opportunities for me. Ted, brilliant. Congratulations, and we look forward to seeing you again soon. Yeah, cheers. Thank, thank you. you.